Hey everybody, I am new to YouTube and making videos and all of that. Um, I am looking here at an Acer Aspire 5724Z-4768. All the other 5724Zs are going to come apart like this. So if you're experiencing these vertical lines, no need to freak out, go get a new computer or anything like that. They can be fixed. It could be more technical or it could be a simple little solution like mine. I bought my computer second hand. I basically traded it for a cell phone I didn't use because they seen the lines and they thought the computer was garbage. Everything else runs 100%. That's my desktop. As you can see, I can move the mouse around. Everything's fine. Runs beautifully. Just had these lines. Which, if you press on certain spots on the computer, you're going to find that the lines either move, disappear, and that's the first step to pulling it apart. Now, when you do pull it apart, mine, sorry, I thought I was making this video later, mine was already pulled apart for this video. So you're going to have this cover on. This cover here has these two little spots. Now these are covered by a little plug. You're going to use an X-Acto knife or anything like this, anything like that to carefully, carefully pry it out. Now be careful because they are sticky and they might fly and you don't want to lose them. I don't know where to get more. I lost one. I guess I'm ordering a new one online. Um, if you do lose them, it's not the end of the world. There is two screws. They will be those silver ones. You're going to put them separate, but the rest are all black. Those two screws come out from the left and right hand side. Those are the only screws to remove this faceplate. So once you have the faceplate on screwed, you're going to take your hands and you're going to very gently, by not pushing on the LED screen or the LCD, whichever kind of screen you have, and you're going to pry it off. Now these are a little trickier down here, and up by the webcam also is a little trickier. Take your time, be patient. You don't want to break it, but you can order a replacement if you do break it. Now this is also the first steps to replacing your laptop screen or repairing it. So that is your choice what you're going to do. I would try repairing it first and see. So once you're in, you're going to find on the left hand and the right hand top corners two screws. This screw unscrews the screen from this bracket. This bracket, this screw unscrews this bracket from here, from the back plate. Then there's going to be another little screw, and it is right here. And it'll be the same size as the rest. And this one is going to remove this part of the screen from the rest. Oh, see, look, I'm making it dance. <laughs> Anyways, same on this side and same on this side. Once you unscrew those, you can gently pull your screen off. You will get to the back. It'll be in the bottom. Right around here, there's a connector. It's the only connector, and it's taped on with a clear tape and a ribbon that wraps around it. It's a little tricky to get off. You don't need to take it off if you're not replacing the screen. If you're replacing the screen, you take this off, you replace the screen, put the connector back in, use either electrical tape or if this tape is still sticky, and stick it back on, and you want it to be firmly in place because you don't want that to come loose. That will also get your webcam running again because your webcam's connected to it. This is wrapped around, so you have to be very careful not to pull and pry. And the fabric that it is wrapped in is a great cord and it is very easy to pull. So we want to make sure that we don't do that. But if you're replacing your screen, you replace the screen, you go back, you put it together and you're done. Brand new screen, lines will be gone or you got a bad screen. It is not the connectors itself doing this. It is the LCD screen. There's little connectors down in here. From what I've found, I've heard they're up the sides, but my issue is down in here. Now this is very soft, it says do not touch. I have a feeling someone pushed a little too hard because right here is bent. So if that is your problem, look for the bent. So we're gonna get back to fixing the lines. I'm sorry that I didn't wanna record this while I was pulling it apart. I've never pulled one apart before. So my computer is all screwed back in. I had it completely pulled apart. I replaced that tape with electrical tape and taped it down really good so I hopefully don't have to come back into the laptop later. So we're going to look here. It says, do not touch. I'm going to touch it. Now if I put the screwdriver in there and pop that up, my lines disappear. They're back. They're gone. See how this is going? 
You're basically going to look for the sensitive spot on your laptop screen that's causing the lines and you're going to push and find out what you want to do with it to get them to go away. Mine was as simple as taking a little piece of cardboard. I put electrical tape on it just to be safer, just because it's a better material. It'll stay in a little bit better. Mine was, to be honest, just a cigarette package. Cut it, fold it, trim it, put electrical tape around it two times, and it's done. I haven't put it in yet. This will be the first time. So if you bear with me for just one second, I'm going to put it in. Now, I was doing this before with two hands when I was messing around to get the right thickness. So, just give me a second. Now, see how I have that sliding in now and it's disappearing? So, you're going to slide it in, adjust it to the way you want it, and we will see what happens after that. So, just give me one second. I'm going to put the phone down. I am sorry. So right now, I'm just taking the screwdriver and pulling it up really lightly on that spot that we were having issues with, and I'm going to slightly push this in to the right spot. Now, from what I see, my piece wasn't thick enough because I only got rid of some of the lines, so it's going to require another piece to push it up a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to make a follow-up video with the screen working after I put the next little piece in. All I'm doing is putting another piece of cardboard in, same thing I did before, and we will see what happens. Oh, look, one last line, now it's coming back. We'll fix that. 